This is my video to sh demonstrate how I was able to create this ellipse jig. After digging around on the internet, I was able to find enough ideas to make this happen here. And what this is, it's just a quarter piece of masonite with some maple glued to it and pinned on it. Some pin nails there. Uh, so then I just took the table saw, ripped 10 degree bevel on each side of these. Um, on this side as well. So now you, what you have is a grid for your major and minor axis axes for your for your ellipse. Then what you have is this arm here. This is just a block. It's just a piece of three quarter inch maple with holes drilled every inch. Uh, mounted, I have quarter inch spacing over here. So what that gives you is, yeah, I can move it forward or back a quarter inch at a time. Um, so that's actually quarter inch per radius. So the diameter would actually be uh, in half inch increments according to doing it this way so I can get within a half inch. So I might, one thing I saw on the internet was to have this slotted uh, so you can get it exactly you know the dimension that you want. So that just goes to this router base here that's just a piece of quarter inch masonite uh, mounted to the bottom of my router here and uh, glued to a, a block here which is which the arm is screwed into okay so what you're gonna have to do now is be able to stick it down and um, double stick tape seemed like it didn't work too well on on this MDF so I actually just put in these screw holes and I screwed it to the workpiece which puts these little holes in there um, that I can patch up no problem Okay, then uh, one thing about this I found out was this is 12 inches I made it, top to bottom, left to right, 12 inches. So the uh, the radius can only be six inches wider on the on the major axis, uh, wider than the minor axis at a time. So the total circumference of your ellipse can can be one foot wider at maximum with this jig. So if you wanted to build a really big like say six foot tall by seven foot wide uh, that's that's the most you can get is one foot wider on the major to the minor so it won't really look really elongated it'll look more circular um, so if you want to do something big you'd have to make this distance would have to be like I don't know 18 inches by 18 or something along those lines um, but basically this is what the setup is I pulled this off of the router uh, just so I could show this here. Um, so if I set this up uh, six inches apart, um, like this, that'd be the maximum uh, that I could that I could do because otherwise it'll fall off of the groove there. Uh, that's just set up there, and then it's it works pretty good. Um, there's a little bit of play in it, um, but I figure as long as you just pull the router kind of towards you as you're going, uh, it works out pretty good. Okay, so that's that's pretty much that. Um, yeah, so this is the piece that I I was just trying to see what I could do here I came up with this design uh, basically this is made up of four uh, different ellipses you see the outside one then the inside one and if you could tell there's it's a little bit wider here on the right side than the left side and what I did is I took the I took this plate you mount it right to the center I got my crosshairs and found center of this piece and then to get the outside radius and then to get that inside one I moved it over a half inch and that made that smaller and that bigger. 
then to get these other lines here I just mounted the plate here and got these two lines uh, right there and then I moved, moved it over to here mounted it here to get these two lines and if you see it's it's wider here in the center than it is here on the ends and you have to change the setup of this each time I think uh, to get this outside one here it was a longer major radius and a smaller minus radius um, smaller minor radius something like that you have to change it around you get different shapes and so I cut that out with this right here and that's just like a just a 3 8 uh, cutter bit on the router and basically this is one inch lightweight MDF right here um, and it just took about four passes for each line I just plunged it in maybe a quarter inch each time and that's it that's the ellipse jig